We're going to get started with our third session of the day. Um, before we start, I really just want to, I truly want to thank the last group of artists for their incredible, uh, thought-provoking presentations. Um, it's such an honor to have that level of discourse and dialogue um, with national and local artists together dealing with really similar shared concerns, so thank you. Um, next up, we have the lightning talks, uh, lightning quick, and um, this entire group is all local Bay Area artists with long-standing practice um, who will all present for seven minutes each in quick succession, followed again by a moderated dialogue by Christian Frock. Um, you will be hearing from Mike Arcega, Koda Azawa, Ana Teresa Fernandez, Cliff Hanks, D. Hibbert Jones and Nomi Talisman, Allison Pebworth, Chris Sollers, and Jennifer Wofford. So we'll just get started with our first artist, Mike Arcega. Hello. Um, seven minutes. OK, there you go. Um, I'm going to focus mostly on the public, things that are in the public realm that, that I've done. Um, start with this piece. Uh, this, this piece, and I'm missing my notes. So this piece is called um, uh, Lord of the Files, and it was a piece done at the Headlands uh, while I was a resident there, and um, I was, I've been thinking about the Pacific and the context of the Headlands and how it was a militarized zone at one point that was kind of over, that had become a public good, um, which is kind of the theme for um, this entire talk. So El Conquistador in the Pacific. Um, <laughs> So this project I started in 2004, um, and uh, it was this, you can't see it, but this map um, of the Manila Galleon trade that occurred in 1565 and 1815. I mean, the trade happened during that time. And it was ran by Spain through, through the Americas where they would take the gold and silver and bring it over to Asia and um, trade for, um, goods, um, silk, uh, people sometimes, spices, and so on. And um, it, it was one of the earliest kind of global trade um, projects. So I ended up making um, a Manila folder, Manila galleon, called <laughs> El Conquistador. And with the help of a lot of the people in, in the Bay Area community, um, we sailed it across. Um, partially across Tamales Bay. Um, you can't see in the slide, but there's an island there called Hog Island, and it was meant to replicate uh, a triangular trip between you know, Acapulco, Manila, and then the northern coast of California, which is around this area. Um, Drake's Bay is a result of part of this Manila Galleon trade. Sir Francis Drake used to wait for Manila galleons to come across. Um, and this is how uh, El Conquistador looks at in, on display after the exhibit, after the sailing. You know, during the time I was making this work, I was identifying mostly as a Filipino um, person on the continent of North America. And as I kind of continued living here and being naturalized and, and uh, feeling more part of the ecosystem, I, uh, I found myself in Virginia. And, um, and in thinking about North America um, as, as this larger place and, not, and understanding that the history of, of North America is broad and there's many different interpretations of it, um, I started to want to understand it better. So this project called Baby uh, Core of Rediscovery was, um, was a, an excuse for me to look at the continent and interrogate it like Lewis and Clark, um, and, um, and kind of bring a Pacific-centric sensibility to, to this landscape. Um, and then also identifying as a naturalized person here. Um, also overlaid on top of that is this um, narrative of the Nasarima, which was uh, a people that were written about in 1956 by Horace Minor. Um, and as 
I'm not going to go into it, but it, it turns out, as you read this anthropological text, um, he took the word, um, if you take the word Nasarima and you flip it backwards, it's American, and he had been othering his own culture. And I see the Nasarima as um, the people who have uh, come and pretty much colonized North America. So I was trying to understand who the Nasarima was and how they were occupying the landscape from this Pacific centric uh, view. So I, I took um, an American design kayak and transformed it to make um, a Pacific outrigger canoe, which I then built and eventually started sailing in different bodies of water across North America. I started in, in Jamestown, or um, the James River, which is um, you know, where Jamestown, the first British colon successful British colony was. Um, and then um, kind of followed the green and blue route all the way across um, into California. And actually, just recently, I, I sailed baby in, uh, in the Willamette River, which is right off of um, um, Columbia River. And so this is on James, uh, on the, in the James River, the beginning of the journey. Um, this is in Pittsburgh. This is actually um, on the Allegheny, where um, Meriwether Lewis sailed from before they went into the, their voyage. Um, and then I dipped um, to Maryland, Mississippi River near Memphis, Bayou St. John in Louisiana, Texas, and you know, in, in California. It was really important for me to put this image of a uh, Pacific Outrigger canoe on the landscape. I mean, my, my work is mostly studio-based, um, I like building things, and I like to hold on to that in my practice. Um, but I also like being outside. And um, it, in a way, it, it serves kind of these things that um, are important to me in my practice and, and, and who minute. I am. Um, so this is in uh, the Willamette River. And so um, I'm going to go over one public art project, because I have one minute. Um, this is the Valencia Street Post project that um, is in the Mission District where that red um, line is. So this is the 1906 earthquake and fire map. The Valencia Street Post plays on a lot of, uh, or upon, which is a literal post um, with, um, that you can post on, but it also talks about um, kind of post disaster. Um, so it, it highlights, it has these Victorian tops that, um, because after 1906 there were no, um, all of the Victorians were burnt out, and so now um, this is a site for people to um, be able to kind of, in, in analog term, like leave traces of their wants, desires, you know, you know I, I'm looking for a bike, or have you seen my cat? Um, so that's, that's uh, Valencia Street Post. Thanks. Thanks.